friends, welcome back to my channel and today I am here to share with you my tips on how to get unstuck when you are in a slump. There are going to be days when you wake up and feel like not doing anything at all. In fact, you are probably watching this video because you have zero, nada, no motivation to work today. And so my goal for this video is hopefully by the end of this video, you learned a thing or two to get your butt moving to get out of this slump. The first thing that I like to do when I'm stuck is to write down everything that I need to do. Because let's be real, we often get into the rut and feel stuck when we have many things to do. It's just that we lack the motivation and inspiration to get things done. So before I go ahead and rest and clear my mind, I like to list them all out and perhaps even check in with my mind on why I'm feeling demotivated to do everything. For me personally, writing helps a lot in figuring out the whys in my life and it helps me to understand myself better to take further action. Once we're done with the writing, I'll put the paper or the book aside. We are going to come back to this later, so be sure to put it in somewhere that is not visible to you but you won't forget where it is, like this drawer. The next thing that I like to do is to take a shower and freshen myself up. Sometimes I even go to the extent of putting on makeup even when I'm staying home all day. I find that it is very important to show up for myself more so when I'm in a slump. Taking care of basic hygiene is a sign that you are taking good care of yourself. Your reflection in the mirror shows that you care about yourself and are taking the right measures to fix your problems. Whenever I feel demotivated or uninspired, and if I don't have anything urgent coming up, I allow myself to take a mental health day. I find that it is very important to acknowledge that you are not performing as you usually can and it is important to sort things out, to figure things out before you get back into the work. If you keep working and if you keep doing things, your performance is going to be bad and you are going to be even more you know, frustrated and upset. But I do understand that a lot of you don't have the luxury to take a mental health day. I completely understand. And for those of you, I have some more tips for you later on so be sure to keep on watching. Whenever I'm able to take a break, I will do something different than what I usually would. So instead of listening to my usual personal development podcast, maybe I'll listen to a new genre of music. Or instead of strategizing my next steps, I'll force myself to draw and paint. The idea is to let your brain get out of the normal routine to remind it that you can do different things. We want to exercise and stretch our brains so that it can generate more fresh ideas when you get back to your real work. Wait, isn't the whole purpose of taking a day off to rest? Why are we sweating our ass out? Because exercise boosts endorphins, honey! I'm not here to sugarcoat you and tell you that oh, you should take all the times that you have to figure things out because we all have responsibilities and we usually don't have the time to figure things out. So I'm here to tell you to chop chop, let's get things done. I personally like running or yoga during my thumb days. Running allows my mind to wonder and think about what bothers me. While yoga helps me to be mindful of my breath and movement, and it grounds me back to the present. Like we were saying, realistically, a lot of us are not able to, you know, take a mental health day, go do something different, or go do exercise. So when you are stuck in the slump, you can rest by doing something that is different from what you usually do. For example, if your job is to stare at the screen for you know entire day, what you can do is probably read from a book, a physical book, or take a 15 minutes walk to the coffee shop to get a cup of coffee. Alternatively, you can also meditate by using apps like Headspace or Calm. I personally like Calm a lot because of its background sound and scenes feature and also the breathe feature. You don't need to know how to meditate to use that app and it really doesn't use much time 
to help you relax. The idea is that whenever we are in a slump, we want to do something that is very different from our usual routine that is far, far away from our stress source. We want to distract our brain from all of the problems that we were thinking of. We want to distract ourselves from everything that is bothering us so that we can come back to our work with a fresh mind and hopefully be inspired to do better. Once your mind is cleared up from doing whatever you need it to do, you can then revisit the list of things that you need to do and re-evaluate it. Are there things that you can remove? What are the things that you have to prioritize? Come at them with a fresh mind and you will feel so much more unstuck. Going into the slum is something that is completely normal. It is our body's way of telling us that <laughs> So don't be too stressed about it. I hope this video gives you an idea or two about what you can do now. I hope you love this video. Be sure to turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you do and watch these two videos if you enjoy watching motivational content or girl boss content. I will see you in my video next week. Bye!